Let's get together, together for love. Got to leave your troubles behind. Got to leave your troubles behind. There's a world waiting, waiting for us. Come on and take the weight off your mind. Take the weight Why don't you climb aboard? All aboard. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take you to the promised land. Come on and climb aboard. Ooh. Cause you're coming with me. Hello everyone out there. I'm Ride recording the train live from my car. Train with me. I'm so back. I just went to, well, first of all, I have to let you know, I have to have this headset in in order for it to record my voice. So I recorded a clip earlier, but uh, there's no sound to it. So I just went into the office and the gates are open. It is like 8.30. I'm just waiting for um, 9 o'clock. That's when the office will open and they will try to help me out. So um, I didn't tell. Okay, you guys, I have um, official directions in a map, which I will scan in and put on. But I have a map of where he's at. So I have to um, go up to post two, take a right, then go up around. And he's in this area called Tranquility. That's marked tr train with a Q. Kind of like tran, kind of like Train de Amour. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, and then I have to look for someone named Mary Cohen, and he's to the left of that, row six, number 41, um, GD10, or GO10. Okay. So, all right, everyone. I'm ready to go on this journey up there. And I'm back. <laughs> and, uh to try to find a path that's not stepping in tons of snow or deep snow. Ooh, the snow is pretty hard. Can make a crunching sound. Tip okay, everybody, he is in somewhere next to this tranquil sign towards the back. This is the lawn area. It's pretty clear compared. There's a lot of crowding. So it's kind of nice to be over in this area, whether unmarked or not. So that means this area, okay, 2004s. I was just thinking, you know, I was wondering when they started cutting into this ground. Wait, you guys. Going up on a hill. Jesse M. Stewart passed away in 1996. Ooh, the ground's kind of smushy. Not in a bad way. In a way that's like... Okay. Ooh, sorry, it's just a bit cold. I just tripped over something that would be crazy if that was Mary Cohen yep I just tripped on something and I could have sworn I thought to myself I bet this is Jermaine Stewart's grave and I think I'm standing on it right now you guys because I've got Mary Cohen right over here 1997 March 15th okay and she said it's to the left so you guys I think I'm here I'm here. And this thing in the ground, it's like a wire that's attached. Let me touch it. See this thing? I tripped over it. And this was my signal. And I'm actually sitting right now in Jermaine Stewart's clock. Wow. Can you see this, you guys? This is it. Here's this rod right here. Over there is Mary Cohen. So let me show you how far away Mary Cohen is. I'll crawl to it. So this is Mary Cohen. And then she said Jermaine is to the left. 
Okay, wow. Let me just take a moment and think about this. It's very... It's crazy. Okay. Um, that would indicate to me that I'm standing in this spot, you guys. I'm here. I mean, there's not much here. But, uh... Yeah. It's very special. Jermaine's a very special person to all of us. Oh, let me do some shout outs for you guys. Okay, I'm here and I'm thinking of Katie Stewart right now. Katie, I'm here with you at Jermaine's resting spot. I'm just gonna sit down in it. Oh. See this, you guys? I'll lay down in it. Okay, Katie Stewart, thinking of you. All right. Uh, Grigory from Russia, I'm thinking of you. Thanks for asking me to come here. Sorry I couldn't, but I'm here now. Um, I hope this is what you were looking for, and I hope you're excited because you contacted me about the grave. Matthew Yocom, is that how you pronounce your last name? Um, new Jermaine Stewart fan representing for the young kids in high school um, and uh, I'm here thinking of you um, and how excited you would be to be here same with you Grigory I know you'd love to be here right now Michael Licata I'm thinking of you thanks for all those video posts you know that eventually came to this point and I think of you probably here in 1997 Painting out here with his family, people that he knew, maybe funeral service. And uh, who else am I thinking of? Thinking of his band members, the party, anybody that's on Facebook that's reading this right or watching this right now. I'm here at Jermaine Stewart's grave and um, I'm thinking of all of you. Here's this uh, rod in the ground. This might be the marker that somebody put in it. I accidentally pulled it out, so I'll make sure that it's shut back in. Um, yeah. Oh, geez, I don't know. I want to stay here. My hands are so frozen. But, uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody for, you know, not for going on my Jermaine Stewart experience, but for having one, for having a Jermaine Stewart experience. You know, I was talking earlier, this... This person worked very hard, very hard on their, their art and their craft and the dancing and the singing and performing. And, you know, I'm just here to attest that Jermaine Stewart matters and he matters in music now. And I don't care if he's not on the radio, he's here right now, right beneath me. And, um, I should have a quiet moment for myself in a moment. Now that I've done all these shout outs. Oh. Alan, right? Is that your name? Alan, uh, Michael's friend in the UK. Jean, Jermaine's brother. I'm here, I found it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just excited you guys. This is crazy. I'm here. This is nuts. You should look around, soak it all in. Whew. Well, I might come back on here and say another few words, but I'm gonna rest my hands, take a moment, think. All right, talk to you guys soon. Hello from Jermaine Stewart's grave. And then the sun. <laughs> and then back to the middle, to the left. And here we are with this stick. This is the stick that marked Jermaine Stewart's grave that I accidentally pulled out and I'm going to put back in. But <laughs> this is the stick.
um, yeah, the greetings from me, Matthew Laker, on March 17th, 2014, at the resting spot and gravesite of singer, performer, artist, intellect, <laughs> of Jermaine Stewart. And we all love his music. We wish we knew him in person because he seemed to be pretty fun. He's a pretty fun person, pretty hilarious. Seemed kind of nervous person, maybe shy a little bit, but uh, definitely knew how to make people feel good. You could tell, you know, with his friends, he always wanted them to have a good time. You know, you'd hear the stories about Jody Watley talking about taking him on the road with Shalimar, you know, just to entertain her away from the drama of Shalimar. You know, Jermaine Stewart made it really easy for her. You know, Hello everyone out there who is just tuning in to this Jermaine Stewart experience. It is March 17, 2014. I am at the resting spot and uh, grave site of singer, artist Jermaine Stewart, and uh, I'm holding the metal prong that marked his grave that I accidentally pulled out. And uh, I am to the left of someone named Mary Cohen. That was the instructions. I'm in the section called Tranquil, Tranquility, marked with the train Q, kind of like Train Day more, right, right. Um, and uh, I got really lucky, get lucky, um, when I said it again, because I came back here last year, and uh, now I'm here this year, and I'm finally sitting on the resting spot, and um, yeah, I'm just soaking it in, filming these videos to show you guys what it looks like. So let me give you a quick visual from the left to the front to the right, and then behind me. So to the left, you've got some like shot. Maybe they're preparing to dig some graves or something. Um, Here's a cemetery in front. That's Mary Cohen to the right, if you can see that. Then I've got a hill behind me where the sun is. Uh, that's to the left. Now I'm coming back around to my right, to my center, to the left. And here I am on the lawn. Uh, hello. <laughs> so I'm finally here. I want to give my shout outs to Katie, to Grigory, to Matthew, to Michael, Lakata, of course. We wouldn't have had any of the. I wouldn't be here right now if he didn't give you those home videos that you uploaded about five, six, seven years ago that I ended up investigating and editing and making something out of. Um, yeah, I just feel proud to be here. I'm a. Uh, Proud to be here as a representative for all of you. Like I said, Katie, Gregory, Matthew, Michael. Um, no order particularly. Um, Marissa, hello. Uh, who came with me last year. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. I'm here. This is the ground. Here's a leaf blowing in the wind. <laughs> and uh, getting quite chilled. But I'm just staying here to soak it all in. Should probably take a, I wanna get some of the ground in this so that it's not just, here, I'll hold the stick. And uh, just wanted to uh, soak it all in and uh, really think about Jermaine and all his hard work and his life and, you know. Sure, we all wish he could be here right now. That's the beauty of music, is that music makes people like me, who never met Jermaine, feel like Jermaine Stewart is alive, um, you know, because he technically is. He's alive through music, his interviews, you know, the 80s wasn't that long ago. So that's really the point of the Jermaine Stewart experience is to, when you have a Jermaine Stewart experience, you're, you're letting the spirit live on. And um, 
this is the resting spot for the body of the spirit that we're talking about. But just wanted a quick moments of silence. I keep doing that. Just moments of thinking. Not thinking about anything that I'm not already saying out loud, but uh just thinking about, you know, that I'm here. This is pretty pretty darn cool. <laughs> and uh Alright. Well, I'm gonna turn this off. Have another moment here. Alright you guys, I'm gonna be heading off to March 17th, 2014. I'm in Homewood Memorial Gardens and I'm currently sitting on the resting spot of Jermaine Stewart. I just uh turned off the video, listened to Don't Ever Leave Me. <laughs> um even though he's gone, but um you know, I'm so cold, and when he said that line about it's getting cold, slip your self into my coat like you used to do. I put my hands in my pockets, and uh, it was just so warm. And, uh, and you know, that song's not totally appropriate, meaning it doesn't have the same meaning, but, you know, sometimes when you listen to people in the element of things, there can be a message, so... I don't know if I'll ever listen to that song without thinking about me being here right now. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you guys one last time the metal stick. See, this is the lawn, and this is that stick. And this is it, you guys. This is what. Your dreams were made of, all of you that wanted to see Jermaine Stewart's resting spot. This is it. So I'm gonna get up so I can show you guys while I walk back to the car that this is where it's located in the tranquil section to the left of Mary Cohen, to the right of Willie Harris Harrison. Willie Harrison was 1996. Then I've got some January 97s. Mary Cohen was March 15th. It could be this one instead. I'm going to guess it's to the left of her headstone. Okay, because I tripped on that metal thing, I'm going to just assume that that is the spot. Um, but I uh, just decided to walk over here just in case. One final look through. Been here for about good half hour it's got to be this spot especially because I because when I was walking trying to find Mary Cohen I tripped over this metal prong as you will see in a different video that's sticking up in the ground and uh and then I found Mary Cohen which confirmed to me that this was the the ground so okay I think I'll sit down one last time just to uh show you guys that I'm here and this is the the metal stick and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this coming along with me that's it in the background as I walk off uh, so I, so, whew, I feel good and I uh talk to you guys later maybe we can see uh, what the rules are for setting stuff up and maybe you know I could put flowers or picture that would be cool to have uh... <sighs> so yeah, it's like I don't want to go have a moment here think about this think about the, what this means you know people finding this video that are looking because I was one of those people looking now I found it so all right from Homewood Illinois hello 
from this Manhattan, Illinois, 27 year old, born 1987, Matthew Laker, to all of you out there, um, years from now watching this, watching this today, so excited and waiting, um, watching this next week, whenever you may find it, just know that you finding this video you are having a Jermaine Stewart experience, okay? Like, he's already in your world just because you're watching this right now. So, oh, feels good to accomplish that. And that was my mission. And, uh, yeah.